All right, man, Tall Guy Carvey is back with another video today. Y'all see what we got, man. Legendary Day 2018 uh, Range Rover Velar, right? Yeah, yeah, bro. This is Scott's right here. This is uh, Scott's uh, Range Rover right here. You got my brother DJ, the car expert. And you got Craig right here with the Jaguar F Type, man. Hey, go ahead and give him everything, Craig. Give him the, hey, all the social media, your number, we're doing everything. Everything you want done on the island of Oahu. Yep. You know what I'm saying? You can look, look, you can look us all on, on, on Facebook, Snapchat. Everything is either Do It Big Then or Yo Yo Rose. So okay. check it out. Look at the other car reviews. You'll see all the information. You want to give them your number in case they want to rent some ferocious whip while they're here in Hawaii? Oh, yeah. If you want to do that, it's 808-999-9986. Anything? Now, he's been representing Hawaii real good, man. So if you want to represent anything else, brother, go ahead and tell him. Oh, definitely want to let you know. Check out my brother, T. Will Sell Realty. If you're in the state of Washington, Oregon, or Idaho, anywhere around those areas, and you want a house, Man, you don't want to go to? Where you gonna get it done at? Okay. You gonna get it done? So I might hit him up because we looking, we looking for a mansion. We looking for a mansion, brother. That's easy. Done. All right. Okay. Easy done. Okay. All right. All right. Where do you go, Scott? You want to say anything, brother? I'm good. You sure? I'm good. <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> what about you, D? Go ahead, take the take the car view over, brother. Go ahead. What we got? What we got here, D? <laughs> All right, I'm saying here, brother. You got Not the camera. Today. <laughs> Not today. Hey, listen. This 2018 Valar, man. Now listen. This is one thing I noticed as soon as they gave me the keys. They fucking finagled. Look at this. This is a Jaguar key, and here goes a Range Rover key. Same fucking shit. You know what I'm saying? That's embarrassing. You know what I'm saying? Like, you had a little touch, though, because you put the little Jag on the thing. You know what I'm saying? A little bit more legendary. Nah, nah, nah. But damn, that's a finagle, man. Y'all got to get y'all shit together, Range Rover. You know what I mean? Let's go over here, dude. This is the whole new redesigned body. Now, y'all know me. I'm not an analytical motherfucker, so I'm not going to be able to give you exactly what the fucking circumference of the bumper is. But, you know, the headlights is different. The whole body is different. Oh, he's got a whole little sleek design. Come over here real quick, man. Come on, camera, man. Get your ass up. Come on. Hey, chill out. <laughs> Just started this. Come on, nigga. <laughs> You got the wheels right here, the black wheels, something cool. You know, he got the little, you know, the metallic brake calipers, you know what I'm saying? It's cool though, man. They got the little range on the scoop here, the little sleek. The door handles pop out. Gotta show him that. Come on, hey brother, you, you gotta get your shit together. Hey bro, I'm trying to keep it clean, chill. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and lock the door. There you go, crispy and the mirrors fold in. That's legendary. Pop that joint out, hit unlock. Big time legendary. Let's walk around this way, D. And they got the top of the move. You got the panoramic roof here? Yeah, panoramic. Oh, yeah, that's your right here. Dude, look at that. I'm about to get you your see up there? You short enough? Tall enough for me? Yeah. Okay, you cool. We got the panoramic joint right here. And look right here. Show them right here, D. I don't know what the hell you want to call that. You want to call that uh, Free Willy Nose. You got the you got the Free Willy Mook on the top. You know what I mean? It's really crispy. I like it. Got the uh, black little redesign joint. Look kind of, that kind of look like, like the new Panamera kind of look in the tail light, don't it? Yeah, yeah. That joint is hard. I like this joint. How much horsepower does this guy? You know, Scott? Okay, well, we're gonna Google that shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> they got like type little diffusers, little baby move, like infant, you know, diffuser yeah. down there. You know, it's not bad. It's really nice, though. The oxygen really like this, bro. Yeah, it's clean. I think it's crispy. I might have to look into getting Kim something like this. You know, yeah, this, this is clean. Let me open the hood, man. All right. All right, let's go ahead and pop this joint, man. You Listen, know how to I pop this, though. Numbers. I did the numbers now. <laughs> 300. I just got off Google, no lie. And Google cut me my check, so it's cool to give them a shout out. You know what I mean? But 300. 80 horsepower, I think it was, let me pull it like on my phone, I think it was 332 on the torque, you know what I mean? So it got a little something. Uh, Craig's Jaguar got like 300 something horsepower like that, so if that got 300 something horsepower, even though this is heavier, it's still going to give you enough get up. So yeah, it got 332 pound feet of torque, 380 horsepower, so that's not bad, man. But there you go right there, that's all the fuck y'all going to get, man. Let's go ahead and get it. This is actually really crazy, you know what I mean? I ain't never had no cameraman, brother. I'm always like, it's nice not, though, right? My brother, so it's I'm nice not, it's though, not right? It's not roast, I'm not coming. It's like, no, 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 that's all good. It's actually, it's kind of weird too, though, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm used to just having the camera and it just looks like, better though. Does it look better? Comment below and let me know what it look like because I might have to get me a cameraman or some shit, like a legit like cameraman, yeah. you know what I mean? But here go the inside, man, D-hop in, brother. Full digital display. It got not only that one, this one, and that one. And the stop-start the stop start button right here is right here, so that looks legendary. Look. Oh, let's cut that down. You got the copyright, you know what I mean? Listen to TLC. Scott, I hear you, brother. But, um, no, you got the whole full digital display, 150 on the dash. They got the RPMs right here. This is actually nice. You can see the inside. This is hard, D. That's all crispy right here. Look at this. I don't even know what all this stuff do. So don't get mad at me because I don't know all the like, you know, the dope shit that this car do because it looks like it does a bunch of great dope things, but I don't know all this stuff. So you got to know like, it, I'm just going to go base it off of when I first hop in it because I ain't do no research. Y'all know me. I might have to start doing something like that. But for right now, take this, man, because it's a Range Rover Lard 2018. Y'all been asking me to do a review on this for a long time. So here it is, man. I don't know what, this is kind of touchscreen, D. All of it? All of it. Oh, this is tight. Oh, yeah, this is hard. It's like a little, it's like a little button you gotta, it's like a little button in there. 
But yeah, it's not touchscreen, but it, the type look like it though. Ain't that hard? It's nice. No, this is dope, D. Look at this. It got like tight. I don't know what kind of pattern this is. This is nice though. Good, big, heavy ass door handle too. So I feel like money. It feel like you're in a real life range. You got some brushed aluminum right here. That's hard. This is nice. Look at my leg room. How's cool. the space? How's the space? It's cool. You know what I mean? You guys understand, I'm 6'10", y'all. So for the people out there who watch all my videos, y'all got to know I'm 6'10", 230. I put on a little weight, I'm getting a little chubby. You know what I mean? But I'm, you know what I mean? I'm cool, though. You know, my headroom is cool. Got the panoramic roof. Show them the panoramic roof, D. That joint's hard, man. Look at the storage space, too. Look at this. Oh, these kind of slide, too. Look at this, D. This joint's hard. So when I slide up like this, boom. That's dope. Get that little extra. If you got them long arms like me or something, you know what I mean? You put it right here. Lean back. That person can have it like how they want it. Got the storage space here, lift up one at a time too. Put one down, boom, bam, bam. Like, so that's hard, that's dope. Got the gear shifter right here. This little spin down thing. Little digital display right here. I like this, this is the digital display here and the digital display here. This is my, these are my favorite things right here. This is actually really dope, D. Six two is good, I got good space here. Yeah, you front. got good space. Show them the headroom, headroom crispy. Yeah, you could. You though, you still. Yeah, I'm all the way, you, know, still you gotta think, 610. So, how I like to base all my reviews is, it's not to say like, cause obviously I'm an abnormally sized human being. So there's a lot of people in the world who don't, who ain't 16, who gotta worry about the struggles I got that worry with, right? But the thing is, if you know I fit in a car and I'm 6'10", then if you're 5'8", five, 5'9", five, you should feel like you in a Maybach. You know what I'm saying? So here go the back seat room. I'm gonna hop in the back seat real quick and show y'all that, man, cause that's legendary too. My seat set back at my seven at 6'10". Here goes my leg room. And this actually ain't bad. I didn't even shut the door yet. So here we go, man. The trunk space is actually really good too. I like this right here. It feel like you money back here though. I ain't gonna lie. Seats is comfortable, headroom cool, leg room. I mean, as good as it's gonna be for a person that's as big as me, 6'10". But this is a legendary ass whip though, for sure. I actually, I'm not even gassing y'all. I really like this car. I like that whole digital display. I like every, I actually like everything about this car. We ain't drove it yet, so I can't tell you if I like how fast it's gonna go or whatever. But I can tell you based off of everything, I'm in the kind of type Elkatara right here, D. On the suede. I'm following her. That's my woman. I'm not really, you know, I'm not really following her. I'm on my three, I'm shit. Mr. Organic, go subscribe to his channel ASAP. I know my dog would definitely like this uh, truck for sure, or SUV. This is nice though. Got the suede here, got the suede on the bottom. I really like this. I would actually give my woman something like this, for real, for real. So, I don't know, man. We got to see, but let's go on the drive and then uh, let's give it a feel and let's see what we're talking about here, man. They like cops? Yeah, like, well, now we're about to go on the drive. Behind. Craig back there talking about them comments in that Jaguar F type video <laughs> where y'all was talking about he was being a, a douchebag for parking in a handicapped spot. Personal, baby. I don't take it personal, I understand. <laughs> I understand. <laughs> but he got a handicapped sticker and everything, man. Y'all was going gusto on Craig, man. Yeah. And go ahead and tell him about your rims. They ain't like your rim set up on your oh, jack. Yeah, it, it Hey, do what you like doing. Hey, if you want to put your rims on top of your car, do your thing. I love everybody. I'm just a whip fanatic, man. Yeah. So even if you don't like it, tell me you don't like it. But don't be driving a Honda Accord telling me you don't like it. <laughs> don't do that. That's not okay, yeah, brother. That's not okay. That's not okay. That's not okay. <laughs> Craig ain't like no, the brother. I'm, I'm, I'm humble as they call <laughs> Hey, hey, he meant, it, he meant to every last word. Huh? <laughs> that that ass, he ain't trying to be yeah. cool. Yeah, he was gonna get that ass. Hey, man, hey, I don't want to <laughs> give me no comments. Like, what that big head? No, no, yeah, they be going in on you. No, on. man. No, it's funny shit, man. This is this is like the real life review channel, man. So if you want to get that real shit, that authentic shit, this is really what it is. Is it safe to say I'm the same way off camera as oh, I yeah. am on? Oh yeah, oh, same yeah. shit, man. Oh, yeah. So real you know, God. Scott, you been watching my videos? Yeah, I watched a few. Of them. Okay, you yeah. subscribed, brother? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I okay, you watch some ads? <laughs> Oh, you gotta, you never skip, well, never skip the dad. commercial or the ad hey, that pop up. Hey, well, I found out now. <laughs> yeah, now yeah. you know you've been hey, skipping them. I'm hey, that's that's my money coming. <laughs> yeah. Hey, my bad, bro. I got you now. Hey, so I've been skipping all of them motherfuckers. Hey, hey I didn't know what you said. So yeah, no, I didn't know. <laughs> Hey, this is very hard though, man. How long ago did you I get like this? That, oh, we got it back in on. Yeah, the twist knob. I don't usually like the twist knob joints, so I usually like my thing. But in this car, I feel like it's fitting though. You know what I mean? Because it's different. How long ago did you get it? Yeah, back in November. Back in November? Okay, well, we about to push this. So you broke past the safety mileage. You cool? Sure. Yeah, let's see. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We don't care. Yeah. Power to it. I feel like a I feel like a type like 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 a boat like but it's like smooth though you know what I mean yeah like it rock the way it rock is kind of like some luxurious I never I ain't never did a Range Rover uh, review right. it's crazy I've done right. Bentleys Lambos yeah you know Sweet. I ain't did no not Range Rovers yet not even, right not even the big boy no I ain't did none of them you know, not, no no Range Rovers at all you said what D I got the GPS right there too. Yeah, that, no, that's hard. You got the three would like this. This is all the way Mr. Organic type of time right here, for sure. I know my girl would like this too. You know what's crazy? I've always felt Range Rovers were like, I don't know, people bought them for the name, not for like, but now I get in this one and I'm like, no, nah, this is type worth the money. You know what I'm saying? Like, but I thought people always got it for like a statement. Since I'm not a foreign car lover, you know what I mean? So I never, I never really 
took a liking to these, you know, but now that I'm in this car world and like I'm really experimenting with other wheels, before I was just straight speed. And now rocking with Mr. Organic got me thinking about like Bentleys and, and all this other stuff. You get the luxury with the speed, how can you beat it? Yeah, Versus it. just having the speed and no luxury. That's his right. type of time. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so I get it, you know, but at the same time, I was always just straight speed. I don't care about the luxury. But now the more I've done more whips, the more I'm starting to like test out and do all these different car views, the more I'm starting to really respect the cars that really do have the speed and the luxury. You know, this is this is nice, man. Because even driving it though, even though we ain't doing nothing crazy, I feel like, you know, you pull up, ain't no fucking talking to me. I'm in a Range Rover. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like for real, for real, like. Obviously, I got a Hellcat and the Trackhawk, which is about to be sold soon. Even though I got those, I never feel like when I've done like a Bentley, I've done the, the Bentley Flying Spur, I've done the Bentley Bentayga, uh, all of the Aston Martin DB11s, all these cars, I don't get the same feeling when I drive my Hellcat. Now, it goes kind of both ways because with my Hellcat, uh, I get the feeling of like nonstop speed, fun, everything. But when I hop in a DB11 or I hop in those like kind of foreign cars, I don't feel nothing of the same on how I do when I'm in my Hellcat. You see what I'm saying? But when I'm in my Hellcat and I'm driving, I'm driving my Trackhawk, I don't feel like as presidential as I do when I'm driving something like this right. or the Bentley or, you know, the Aston Martin. You know, I feel more presidential. I feel like even though people might not know cars, they're going to give you all the respect in the world because they just know what that is. Nobody knows what a Hellcat is if you're not a car person. That's why I'm starting to learn how to respect these cars, man. This is, this is dope whips, man. You know what I mean? I like this range right here. And the way it's always driving still, I don't even, like usually I drive fast. You know this, right, Craig? Yeah, 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 I drive fast still, but in this one, I don't even want to drive fast. I just want to be like this. You know what I mean? Like, I'll it's tell you what you're going to notice smooth. too, though, when you start smooth. pulling up to them bigger business meetings, and because you already taking off. When the takeoff, takeoff, right. and you're meeting with CEOs and, and people in the production companies and doing TV shows and whatnot, when you pull up in the track hog, okay, that's cool. But when they see you pull up in the in the, in the in the whatever else that's foreign, that level of automatic respect right, comes. Yep. So yep. they think, oh, he's about his business. Yep. He, he, he got the, he got the, he got the Hellcat. We seen yep. that. But he came to this business meeting. He got a little button down on, a little slacks on, the yep. nice uh, Magnani shoes. You know what right. I mean? So you know, he came with a different level of uh, of. Uh, Pizzazz okay. to him, yo. Yeah. Professionalism. Yeah. Yo, that you professionalism. Look more refined. The, the perception of you definitely looks way more refined. Yeah. So I, I get it. You know what I mean? And that's I know that's what people are aiming for when they get these kind of cars. But you, when you, I, I just feel like I'm just like, I don't give a fuck. You know what I mean? I, I'm always going to just, I can't, I, like, I've thought in my head, I've always been like, man, that suit and tie, man, I want to get on that type of level. Yeah. You know, it's good to have that kind of stuff. Like, if I ever got like a bag back and was rich, I would definitely, you know, have some of that kind of in the arsenal. Do I take it right here? No, nah, keep straight. Stay straight. If I, if I got rich, rich, I would have that in the arsenal for sure. You know, I think any dude who's trying to do something in their life should have a good pickings of those kind of things. You know what I mean? Well, you, but, you, autom you almost have to, man. Because yep. they won't let you have a seat at the table if you don't look like them. Yeah, it's crazy how yeah. you gotta have that perception, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. But it could be a totally different person under oh, yeah. the suit. Oh, yeah, look it's at that. It's wild. Jay. Look at Puff. You know what I'm saying? Yep. When, they, when they in the business meeting, they're trying to buy NFL, yep. NBA teams, or whatever. They yeah, they're coming in, in, in a suit. Yeah. You're right, though. Yeah. You're right. And I'm such a. I'm such a, a a simple person. Like I don't I don't wear name brand stuff. Like for the most part, I just wear basketball shorts and shirt and some regular throw on shoes. And but the thing is, when I go into these dealerships, like and I got to talk with them, and even though I got the platform, mm -hmm. it, they they respond differently to you. You know what I mean? Since you ain't coming in on that type of time, you know. So I get it, you know. But I'd be like, damn, it's such a it's such a, a crazy world that you have to be that way, even though you're not that person. They want you to kind of adapt to the social norm and what's okay. That's wild to me. So when you get a Range Rover and shit like this, it's like the perception is you got to be like that. That's why I never liked these kind of cars because I felt like the the foreigns and all that was a bunch of people like pretending. Yeah. They wanted the perception. You see what I'm saying? Versus like a muscle car, it's like I don't give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? And that's not really my personality. You know what I'm saying? I don't give a fuck what none of y'all talking about. You know what I'm saying? I'm doing this. Dope, I'm, right? doing this I'm doing how I want to do it. I'm living I'm life. Heavy. I'm going crazy. I'm Let to the mook every day. You know, so I get it though. But at the same time, it's good to be it's a it's good to be a jack of all trades and you know have all, all a bunch of different stuff under your belt, man. This is a legendary whip, man. Shout out to Scott for letting me get this review out here. And I'm in Hawaii driving a range too, make it that much more range or uh that much more legendary. And then we got Craig's Jaguar I've been out here for a whole week in the Jaguar F type. Yeah. That motherfucker is small. That joint be hurting the shit out of my back. <laughs> and he can knees up hey, his head. Listen, <laughs> at first I thought like, man, we about to be watery, boy. Me and DJ be like, hey man, who driving today, brother? <laughs> my back still ain't recovered from motherfucking three days ago. You know what I'm saying? It's a legendary whip though. Yeah, I've been making him drive the, yeah, him drive the whole damn time, man, because <laughs> And that motherfucker is small, dog. Yeah. You be hitting little bumps. I look, he got car sick in that motherfucker. I was like, that. <laughs> boy, head in the circle, bing, bing. You know what I'm saying? Like, 
Hey man, that's a legendary whip though, and it is fun as hell though. You know what I mean? Yeah, I get a jack that. Though, oh yeah, yeah. this story. Hey, everybody yeah. stay too. Sweet, gonna give y'all too much. Everybody stay too for it though, man. Shout out to Craig too. Craig, give him everything you got one more time, brother. Twitter is Yo Yo Rose. Um, the Gmail, um, the one that I use most times is uh, Do It Big Then at Gmail.com. Um, I'm Nasir Jones on uh, Facebook, Instagram, do it big, yeah. then Gmail. If you need a whip while you out here, I got plenty of them. I got. He definitely do you want to talk to. If you're in Hawaii, you definitely care. holler at Craig. He gonna definitely get you together on that type of time, y'all. Y'all opening the door, y'all like yeah. fuck this. This review over. <laughs> 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 like, we still talking, Craig. They gonna like, get out the damn car. <laughs> <laughs> like, so, oh, yeah, two that people that don't like me don't care, but they like, hey man, fuck this shit. It's that time, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yep. About that time. He, he opened it first. I was like, he opened it first. I was like, hey, he opened up and we're starting to go. Yeah, yeah. So it's cool. But yeah, if you in Hawaii, man, holla at Craig. Craig, give me your number one more time, man. 808 999 9986. If you in Hawaii, man, and you want to get a car, this is the only person I really rock with. I've, I've seen all the little rental car spots and all that good shit, man. But if you want to you want to get a nice car and you want to have some good people behind you, Craig's the one to do it, man. Don't mind the beard and the glasses. And he's a really cool <laughs> motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Hey, hey, he look kind of crazy. You know what I'm hey, saying? Man, I hope <laughs> not. <laughs> He's an army veteran, though, so he can be that's trusted. It, you know what I'm saying? There you go. You know what I mean? Hit him up, man. There you go. You know what I'm saying? And if you need some security, he can give you that, too. You know what I'm saying? But no, nah, man. Appreciate y'all tuning into the video, man. Just like that, this video is over. It's done. Everybody say bye, man. All right. I'll let y'all in the next one, man. <laughs> now we can go. <laughs> Scott, like, thank fucking God. <laughs> hey, this is Jordan. This is Scott's son right here, man. He wants to do YouTube, man. You make a YouTube channel yet? Yep. Oh, get shut it out there. Um, um, on YouTube, it's Dijiva, D I G I V A. I make gaming channels and I do vlogs and stuff like that. Okay, that's what's up, man. You want to show Instagram, Snapchat? Oh yeah. Um, uh, go 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 on my Instagram at Fools on You, and also got a Twitter. It's called Jordan Bars. So, yeah. Okay, well hit him up yeah. on there, man. Tell him tall guy says you man. Go subscribe to the channel ASAP.